You are my bull, so you're only here. What? Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate you choosing me over Momoka, even though I'm quite surprised you would do that, because I would have chosen Momoka over me. <laughs> Except I did choose me over Momoka today, so that's weird. Ah. Oh. Let's begin. What? Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3, Marathon Mode. I don't know all three chapters in one session. I don't know how long that's going to take, so let's let's just stick with chapter one and see how we fare. Thank you. River up. Continue. We cannot. Notes. Read all collected notes. Oh, God. 20 notes. That's going to be fun. You can also just watch the VOD. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm going to watch Mumika's VOD tomorrow because I really want to see what happened in that. What's this stuff? Flashlight mode, lantern mode, turbo mode. Save file will be overwritten. There is no save file. Okay. I have no idea what's going on. Let's read the note. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. You saw Bow the Whale play this. Oh, cool. And space. Nope, oh, they've got a crocs. I mean, cross. That's just a deer. What the hell was that? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Dark forest. Deers. And so I play. Hi, Pork. Welcome to the stream. Okay. Don't have any kind of map. I'm kind of just wandering into the forest. This seems rude. Oh, hey. Maybe we should follow that. Well... <laughs> oh, thanks for the follow, Porky. What does that do? Oh, that did something. You're invited. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday. Saturday, May 3rd at 12pm or 4pm. Oh, I could have been playing this in May. Direction. Turn right at 1338 Snake Meadows Hill Road and go straight past the well. Oh. Straight past the well. Well, this is the well, so... Which way is straight past the well? This way? Oh, hey. Excuse me. That's scary, but at the same time. Uh, that looks like bones, I think. I'll go away. You suffer. I wish I knew what they were saying. Let me just go back to the well. Live, human! You belong in this world! Oh, okay. Ah, the blimmin'. Yeah, Pork Pauline's game last year. The Martin's house lies... Sorry. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow Will Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of the gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Allred. Why is this cut off? Oh, okay, there we go. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. Wait, shit, I lost my place. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. Father Allred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with the elements of the right that may seem to that may seem harsh to the layperson. Don't want to go in here. Yes, he bought this for me last year. Now oh, there's a key in here. Oh, hello. 
<laughs> it's scary, but at the same time, I'm just like, I have a very easy means of dealing with it. Maybe I should just let should I just let it capture me? It's otherwise I might I don't know. Probably not. I'm pretty sure it just kills me. <laughs> Uh, do we go up? I may accept a backseating simply because I don't know stuff. Uh. Oh no! You may get got. Hmm. When you least expect it. I would hope so, because at the moment it's really, really easy to deal with them. Oh, excuse me. Go away. Just hold the cross up and they go, Oh no, I'm not having any of that. And there is a house here. That's fucking nothing here. At least I got a key, at least. I'm pretty sure I need that. And let's go back to the other house. Maybe I need to go left, right from that area. It still gives me the big shivers when it comes out. I'm expecting any second now. <laughs> I'm expecting it any second. Oh, there's the road. No, nah, it won't be this close to the road. Although, you know what? Let's find the car again. Let's get my bearings back. This is where I left the car. So, stands to reason that the house would be somewhere north of here. Probably don't want it too north and just get lost. Oh, oh excuse me. Oh, maybe I should Perhaps I should have gone a beer for this. Get cold already, and yet sweaty at the same time. Cold sweat, yeah. That's a natural response to fear, I think. Where are you? I know you're coming somewhere. Come on. 8 out of 10. Borp. Thank you. That wasn't a very good burp. <laughs> Why don't you take me to your leader? Then I can go kick his ass. Hmm. I need to clean this stuff. Oh! Aha, what's this? Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected registering the markers on your property. As, histor as, a, as a historical cemetery, our office has had difficulty identifying who was buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. We've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connect Connecticut. Connecticut? I actually can't say that word. I will reach out to you when we get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson. State of Connect Connecticut Historical Society. So that's some of the notes. Ooh! I had no reason to check that, but I did. Today I noticed Amy's favourite tree looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off it and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She is totally absorbed in the voluntary work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something that she's passionate about. <clears throat> but I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at the book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. Hmm. So we're definitely on the right track, I think. Let's see going north from here. We might find the house this way. There's a blood stain. What does that mean? I think it means this is the evidence of something being summoned here. It was running away from me. Expecting it any second now. Oh, 
What? Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your care and return him to his home immediately. That's a reference to the movie Antichrist. Oh, this is a good time to pump some mine. Give me a sec. Ooh. Some weights lifted. That was a bit too easy. Uh, maybe we should start doing more of them on the rest of the time. Nevertheless, maybe we'll get harder as we do more later. <clears throat> Mr. and Mrs. Davies have been already contracted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for, the discre for this discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Rome? Mm. Cardinal Gifford. Mm. Okay, okay, so what have we learned so far? So there's something interesting at the Martins' house. Interesting, being an operative word. So I'm going to take a sip. And someone has been called back to Rome. I wonder if it was Greg. You know, Greg Davies, the past master. And we've dealt with one creature on this plane. Hmm. Nothing seems out of the ordinary here. Yep, the deer does not react to the cross. Barely even myself. Another grave. A small graveyard. These ones don't seem to be reacting. Let's try the last one. I'm expecting another crawl that's come out of this woodworks any second now. This is repeating itself, that's strange. Why is this repeating itself? Surely it would have reached the edge of the woods by now. Oh, there's a purple man. Maybe it was a purple woman. There's two purple people. Hello? Excuse me. I just want to talk to you. Are you are you fine? Ah, here we go. Enter the house once again. I think that's saved. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement. Exploring that, Amy was down there in the restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in the chair. Wait a minute. Amy was down. Amy was down in restraints, but then it says in the attic. What? Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe. The look on her face, it was not the kind of a look a child gives you. Hold on, hold on, let me, let me read this again. Greets us the front porch, that is downstairs to the basement, and then, but then she's in the attic. What? Was this, was this translated incorrectly or something? Or am I stupid? <sighs> Excuse me, I was just arguing my back a little bit. I have to know the drink. I need something slightly better than the tankard. <coughs> hmm. Something about just talking for a bit makes you funny all that. Okay, okay, so let's just wander around until something makes sense. What's in this picture? 
Ah, there is something here. Okay, the girl is purple and the parents are grey. At least I think that's a girl. I'm not stupid? Oh, thanks. Okay, that's the only bright thing over there. Actually, there's two bright things. What is that? Okay, so that's... In the daytime... Let's say Nate. Okay, so in the daytime, someone called Nate saw a very tall creature and what appears to be a cultist. Uh, is that just a candle or is that just a jack-o'-lantern? It's hard to tell with this pixel ratio. So this is the back door. Ooh. Pointing across at anything and everything. Maybe the TV. Let's stand so close to TV. It'll become squares. Bedroom. Downstairs bedroom. Really? I'm actually more squared than there's no music. I don't know where something is. It could be anywhere. What is that? Fuck is that? Standing there. Something's following me here. I'm being followed. What's over here? No music, horrifying. It is though! You're right. Well, I said that, but yeah, it is horrifying. Just because I'm expecting something doesn't make it any easier. <laughs> ah, there's blood over there. Something tells me a cross isn't going to be enough for what I'm dealing with today. What is this? Is this just a bike? An indoor bike? Weights? Oh, someone else is pumping iron. Alright, let's have a look at this and assume that it's locked. Really? I guess it's locked. I do like that the controls are simple, at least. Oh, wait, the duck. The duck was haunted! I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out into the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. Ah, so that means... Okay, so that's Jess. Nate and Amy might be twins... But, oh yeah, because Amy's mentioned later in the letter. However, Nate wasn't in the photo with Amy, so that's strange. Either that or Nate is one of the taller ones and they're not her, one of them was her parents and was her actually her brother. No, wait, no, they're twins. They're going to be all the same. Like, what? Sometimes I wonder if I'm really struggling with comprehension or if actually I'm noticing something important. Uh, anyway, let me go back a sec. I don't let the twins go out into the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed. Distorted somehow. Slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her and I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. Oh, okay, so there are two boys and then there's Amy but there's just no pictures of the two lads that we saw. We did see the illustration that Nate put on the fridge, though, which is useful. <clears throat> Sorry, I lost my place. She doesn't seem like herself anymore. I'm saying to the results. I'm telling the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God, good Bob comes home tomorrow. Okay, so Bob must be the husband, or one of the husbands. That's the boiler. That's the boiler. We got sink over there. Sink's over here. Wait, what the hell is this then? Is that a bidet? No, we just... Why does this house have so many sinks? Oh, wait, that's not a boiler. That's a toilet. That's a nice private toilet as well. This is a... This is a fancy, massive bathroom. With what appears to be a nice painting. 
Okay, so there's something of interest over there. There's a little note here. I guess I was the only one who sought a check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight into straight at me like I like when we first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although <laughs> we spoke briefly, although it was frustrating talking to her or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances po spoke perfect Latin. I called for help, but from the others, but nobody came. Sarah raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Okay, but that didn't work clearly. There's, there's gotta be more than that. Okay, that is no longer haunted, whatever that is. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for, for Amy's birthday. Maybe that's what that was. Maybe that was a doll. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have book club. She looks like she could be from over there. <laughs> uh, sometimes it's genuine and sometimes it's just secondhand racism. Not, not necessarily malicious racism, just, you know, lazy. <laughs> or unknowing. That's yeah, fine. It's. What's the word? It's uh, forgivable. <sighs> Apparently, uh, my dad experienced a little bit of that when we were in a uh, nursery. Obviously, he told me it's way later. Apparently, there was this. Uh, I think some kid was speaking another language, and one of the mums just looks at my dad, who is brown, and just says, "What did she say?" And my brad dad's just like, mm -mm. <laughs> "This is not the same one." Anyway, Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll. I think she would rather f have a phone instead, or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Also, no, oh, thank you. I'll drink even more water now. Lovely. I hope that picked up on the mic. Because I thought it was funny. Okay, so Amy isn't a child. She works at a clinic. Maybe she is a child that works at a clinic. I don't know. Either way, she is possessed. Uh, like I said earlier, I haven't seen the Antichrist. That's something to add to the list. Oh boy, there's lots of toys in here. Any one of these could be haunted. Haunted? Or just something to interact with? None of them? What about this one? Really? Fascinating. Also, is it weird that I have one of my redeems just in Indonesian for no, for no good reason? Okay, I've investigated upstairs. I can't access the attic without the key, presumably. So... And I'm running out of things to interact with. I've already seen two people make their way up here. Perhaps they were the twins. There's a coat on the nightstand. Let's inspect it. What about the TV? I know I already looked at it, but let me just look again, because I remember seeing some clip of someone coming out of the TV. I didn't look at the lamp yet, actually. Investigations, investigations. I may have to leave the house and look for the key. Okay, uh, is there a way to... Ah, here we go. Oh, do we, we do have sort of overall map. So, let's see. Notes. Read collected notes. Jason's sixth birthday. Okay, so the twins must be... I don't know. It doesn't quite make sense, but if Jason and the Nate are twins, that would give me the full picture of the family. However, only Jason... Oh, no, wait. Nate. Come, let's come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth. Oh, I just misread. My bad. 
Okay. Favorite tree looks like. Okay, so we got that from the tree. This note is missing. This note is missing. Okay, so this is about the graves in Connecticut. There was uh, three missing notes so far. Okay, so this is just a general direction for the house. What does it say again? Martin's house lies a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of the path. In the middle of a gravel path that is mostly covered in grass, it was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Allred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. Okay, so that suggests that Father Allred has been going to his house often. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Okay, I think we went there already. That's where we got one of... I assume that's where we got the main key to get into the house. Because there was a bit of a stop when we tried to get in. But the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside... Options, quiz. Okay, we don't want to do either of these yet. Clavis. You know what? We did try this door. Did we try this door? I wish we did try the door. Okay. I'm unnerved at the fact that we haven't encountered anything in the house yet. Wait. I missed this. There's a downstairs. This game auto saves, right? There's a cart there. Oh no, did they have one of those like secret babies? Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area we are working in has a lot of folks who are practicing com. Kimbaba. Kimbamba. I can't say that properly. It's what you might call a pagan religion. Kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. Oh, it's a mix. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Muerte, I'm pretty sure, is Spanish? Or maybe it's Latin. Maybe it's both. Yesterday we talked to a boy about, about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said, No, but I prayed to San La Muerte. So, yes, you have prayed then. Uh, children will say stupid things. He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and uh, according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that, but invited him to church. No, we invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in the uh, see you in four months, Leighton. Someone called Leighton. Okay, so the doll is on what's wanted. What had some? Why was it? That was caught though, wasn't it? This is a cot. This isn't like a gate or something else, is it? There's a sewing machine. Sort of sheets. Okay, what about the sewing machine, though? Nope, the sewing machine isn't haunted. All right. There's only one tile left on this part. All right, here goes something. This is actually worse than finding something. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the pro proceedings of the rite for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical and the twins, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up to the stairs and to the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement. So I went down to check on things. 
I found Father Allred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. What the? Is this a cutscene? Oh, hello. Well, I can't do anything here. She is here. She is here. Wait, what am I doing? Come face to face with Amy. What? Where the f- Where am I? How'd I end up here? Excuse me, that was really funny. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, okay, cool. They don't make me go through menus and shit. We just start straight from there. Hello, beautiful. She is here. She is here. Mortis. Mortis just means... Does Mortis just mean death? Look at you. Oh, come on. I can't always understand what you're saying. Hear me. Okay, okay, so... Okay. Where do I go? Because obviously I don't go into the attic yet. But she is just, like, constantly hounding me. Do I need to do something about this? Uh, yeah, I'm asking for a little bit of backseating. Just what do I do next? Oh. Get shower. I'm out there in the morning. Oh, I didn't realize you were DMing me. Oh, these are really, really nice. Just wander around. Okay, okay, okay. I'll carry and do what I was doing then. Okay, you coming from the bath? No, there you are. Okay, so it's the one that uh, flashes out of sync with the others. Okay, I already did this one. Yes, thanks, Pork. Uh, again, Pork is the reason they even have this game to begin with, because he bought it for me last year. Oh, crap! Didn't even see it. I didn't even see it coming out. <laughs> okay, I gotta try that all over again. So, based on what you said, I assume I have to do it in every room. I need to quell her, the spirits that are possessing her from every room. Ooh, let me just take another sip. Mm. Just water. It starts over again. Wait, I'm really enjoying this, actually. Um, I... I like this pixel rotoscope. She is here. She is here. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna cover every room. Hear me. Okay, so it is different every time. Yeah, I remember seeing you play this a little bit on Pixel this time last year. And I was like, ooh, this looks interesting, and then you got it for me, like, immediately after. Which I'm very appreciative of. I can see you. I, can see you. I, flee. I flee. Oh, it's on sale for the moment. That's cool. Yeah, you can just watch me play, that's easier. And besides, it's high time I play some horror anyway. I've been watching everyone else do it. You're too weak. You're too weak. <laughs> Okay, I can't actually see where the... Ah, oh, there we go. Get out. Get out. I, flee. I flee. I don't know what she knows what she's saying. I, I'm making educated guesses, but don't actually know. Where's she coming from this time? Go away. Go away. I have seen. I have seen. <laughs> this is becoming a little bit funny, actually. 
Is this where she comes out of the TV? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just go upstairs then. This is some fucking good horror. Something tell me this this feels a little too easy. Even considering I've died two times now. Molly, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father. Wait. Words have been omitted from this. Father, something, something, with some... And when I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with their own... I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there, waiting for me. Yo, thanks for the subscription! You do not have to do that, but I really, really appreciate you doing that. Seriously. That's, uh, thank you so much. And now you can use my emotes in other Twitch streams. <laughs> yes, I think that's how it works. Wait, why are they locked from myself? I made them. Why did I make it? I, why? Ah, oh, fuck's sake. I'll worry about that later. Apparently I don't have a subscription to myself. I, I think this is broken. I'm going to worry about that later. I have to go back to that house. The nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there, waiting for me. I can still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry, John. <laughs> Why can't I use my own emotes? This isn't fair! I think it's... Uh, okay, so I was having a little bit of trouble when I started the stream today. Because for some reason, Streamlabs was like, Oh, you need to log out and log back in. And I'm just like, why? Y you know it's me. And now all of a sudden, it just seems to have forgotten that... What the hell's going on here? If anyone needs a subscription, it's not me. Hold on, I'm confused about this. I Excuse me. Excuse me, I just need to go on Twitch and find out what the fuck is going on. Because I think it's on Streamlabs then, but I don't actually know. Give me the tab. Can I use my own bloody emotes? Of course I can. Yeah, it's just... It's just Streamlabs. It's just my Streamlabs being annoying. I actually do use OBS for um, Pixel. It's just uh, I can't have multiple streaming sites saved to it and toggle between them. Which is kind of annoying. Like, you can stream to multiple sites at the same time, I believe, but, you know... Yeah, I think Streamlabs is just... Uh... I want to say overtuned, maybe? I don't know. But whatever, at least I know it's just on Streamlabs at the end. Fucking Streamlabs. Alright, moving on. I don't need to, I don't actually need to use these emotes right now. Okay, so... Hang on, how many notes have we got so far then? So that's... One, two, three, four... Okay, so... One, two... Three... Four, five, six... We're missing six of the notes. That's a big chunk of them. I didn't explore the entire woods, so who knows? Maybe I'm about to get a bad ending here. Also, this one mannequin has blood written on the face. Okay, but that's not the haunted part. What the? My God, what happened to you? Of course I do. I have to finish what I started. No, it's not this easy. No, it wasn't that easy. Mortis. 
Oh, wait, do I have to go from... Which, where do I have to go from to continue this now? Oh, just here, sorry. My God, what, what happened, happened to you? you? <laughs> do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? Okay, let's just see what happens if I don't put the cross away. Because he's just coming closer to me. I'm holding it up still. <gasps> Ooh! No! Alright, let me just pump some mine then. <clears throat> Thank you for redeeming pumps of mine, however. Oh, it shouldn't have been like that. All right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And the other arm. <clears throat> Oops. Got the table. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Oh, thanks for redeeming that. Making sure I get my workout every stream. <laughs> I really need to remember to work out when I don't stream as well. Oh, okay, so we actually go from this part of the boss fight. Also, I love how the color fluctuates at the edges. Oh, oops. Okay, what am I doing wrong there? You are trying to design elegant pieces for elegant stuff. Also, I like it you just change your color. It's a nice, it's a nice look for you. Also, means not everyone's green now. Oh man, I fucking love this. I like her red face. Oh, it just dodged. I'm enjoying this. <gasps> ah. This is kind of hard to move. Oops. <laughs> Maybe I actually want to do the other hand in the space bar. Let's try this again. Okay, 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 cool. I was worried this was going to be really annoying. Okay, what's going on here? Oops. <laughs> I don't know how you do this. I don't know how you do this face. Okay, so that's not working. Let's just stay in the middle of the circle. I do like that the controls are really simple. Thank you for the kind stuff. You just gotta get closer and crosser, okay. Ah! <laughs> Not that close. But she has resistance to being crossed. She isn't quite like the... 
Castlevania vampires that apparently just can't handle geometric shapes. Oh, there are many choice words to have about that. Why didn't that work? Just watch how she goes. Yeah, yeah. So initially she follows the star, but then she just kind of goes in other ways. But she does move, go in movements of three, which is pretty obvious. She's just not quite predictable. There's something else I'm not seeing. What am I not seeing? Okay, so there's the runes that keep like going spinning around the floor presumably in blood uh, what's going on with that i'll just keep trying until i figure it out i did music in this okay so yeah the pattern swirling is when she charges up Don't touch him. Oh! Ah, shoot. That was too close. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> I like that emote. I'm glad you're getting the love you saw that one, though. Like, don't be in its way. I know, but you have to be in its way to do the cross. Or do you, actually? I don't actually know. Ah, shit. <laughs> you move so slowly. I didn't realize I was going into its path until it was already there. She's gonna go. I feel like it should be really obvious, but I'm just like being stupid. All right, all right. I can't take this slower, which is the annoying part as well. So I can't figure it out. Oh, okay. So she's going that way, then she goes that way, then she goes that way. She's so she, she does follow the pentagram. Okay, so then she goes that way, and then she goes that way, and she goes this way. All right. And she's going that way, this way, that way. Oh crap! I was too close. <laughs> okay, okay. So yeah, she does just follow the pentagram. I, I figured. I see that now. What? What? <laughs> she was supposed to stop there. <laughs> okay, okay. So when she did, okay. So when did she does a full loop and goes back to where she s stopped last time? Did she like go one more? Does she like go from threes to fours? Ah, uh, I just keep trying. <laughs> we haven't even been streaming that long. It feels like it feels like we got here fairly quickly.
this is hard. <laughs> this is hard, but I'm hard. It's my joke, I can review I can overuse it as much as I want. Just gonna let her do it again. Hmm? Is this the... Which phase is this? The first time, the last time. What? She went out the window. This isn't over. This isn't over. Who's is this? Is there going to be another, another gotcha while I'm out here? Kill her. Oh no. Wait, wait. Okay, I assume that the space bar fires the gun. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, otherwise I guess we're just going out. Let's... Okay, no one's here. I assume that was the parents' bedroom. You almost called my boss a- you almost called your boss a wanker because of me. I appreciate that. Did she go out the back or- No, I think she went out the front. Okay, so that's the broken window at the top, so... This may be a gun, but it still feels like... I want Yaido swing. Also, the woods feel different now. Maybe she's by her favorite tree. Please tell me if I'm going the wrong way, because... Oh, there she is. So there's lots of endings. I don't think I did the right thing. Oops. Yeah. You chose. Ah, I thought so. An ending. <laughs> ah. That wasn't the guy. That wasn't the creature, was it? Hello? Is anyone in there? Where the hell am I? I killed a person. Ending one of five. Murder. 
One thing leads to another. Reach any ending of chapter one. All right. Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man is, is in custody after he confessed to the murder of, Ster of a Sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Pal Palmyra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state tr trooper reported hearing of gunshot. The officer thought it might be it might be poachers. The officer said and the officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When when questioned, Ward reportedly said, "I've killed her." According to the Police reports the office called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to the Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward confessed to the, the authorities that he had shot Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, the police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving the gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of a second-story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It was suspicious that, an that he was impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that the ward was not an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. New background unlocked. New play mode unlocked. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, so there's five other there's four other endings to that. So how's about instead of going to the next chapter, why don't we try finding some of those other endings? It would be nice to do some of those other chapters today, but I think it would be slightly easier to just do them another day. Ah, this is- I missed this when I was setting up because I was just trying to figure out how to get it out of full screen mode. But yeah, for now, let's just focus on finding those other endings. Ooh, not been approved by the Vatican, so he was already going off of- off- off kilt from what they were deeming was appropriate behavior for a priest. Ah, so we go straight from here. Wait, did I load from last save? Um, I, it looks like I have. I think this is where things will take place. I assume there's going to be an interesting ending if I waste the bullet. Oh, I'm like hovering over the spacebar in case something leaps out at me. <laughs> me with sword. Oh, these woods just do not make sense to me. Who are you? Hey. Can I just talk to this guy? No, okay, I guess he's leaving. I don't think we were supposed to... I don't think I'm looking for that guy. I think he was just some dude. I think this gun is for when something leaps out at me. Although, also, it knows it's hunt I'm hunting it. That's just a deer. We're not here. We're not here. We're not here to kill you. Although, I assume that's also a funny ending, so... That's something to keep in mind. But I'm gonna look for the, you know, the proper ending. So yeah, it looks like um, I'm only given the choice... It doesn't give me a choice of what save to load from. I assume it just takes me from here. What about from here? Chaos Reigns? Does Chaos Reign from here again? This map is useless. <laughs> I could. What's happening? What the hell is that? 
Ruins? Okay, that's that's where Amy was. You're just some dude, right? Everything is shootable, yes. Okay, these, are these just bones around here? Bruv, I, I'm so lost in this place. Who left this gun downstairs, anyway? Because it wasn't there when I was in investigating the house earlier. This is some good spooky music as well. She's already kind of dead. Okay, that's the weird mechanic. I'm pretty sure you're not the person I'm supposed to shoot. So let's ignore you. I don't just shoot some random tree. Oh, you're gonna you? <laughs> I have a one. Fine, fine. All right. Okay. Last one for tonight, I think. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. And the other arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Back to the mystery of what the fuck do I shoot? American stuff. I don't just shoot something unseen, do I? This would be a rubbish ending if all I have to do is just shoot this blood spatter. I can't be right. Sick TV, dude. Thank you. It's an Oni. Yes, welcome, Jojo. Oh, that's Pro-Pro? Sorry, I didn't even realize. I can shoot... Pork, finish your sentences! <laughs> yeah, welcome, Pro-Pro. I'm... Happy to see you here. This doesn't look like anything. It looks like some ruins, maybe. That's just where the girl is. I swear this game just, like, makes up on the fly where things are. The Chaos Reigns. You want... Let's try shooting the Chaos Reigns, then. Was it here? Yeah, it was here. Alright. There was something here. Or you could leave. Oh, that's where the tree was. I was looking for this. Where's the car? Is it? There it is. Let's see what happens. Oh, cultists. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be able to do shit. <laughs> Ending three of five. The offering. I see.
So I want to assume this is what happens when you waste your bullet on something else. Hello, Amy. I'm sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you were only 17, but you were already an adult and you were able to handle your own life. I do not let your mum and do not let your mum and that stop you from following you on your in your dreams. If there is anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We are having a get together at the clinic Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you part of the team, even if your mum and dad do not. We hope to see you there, Gary. That's a confusing one. Airdorf Games. Oh, that's a different one. Alright, let's try again. We're also missing some of the notes. Maybe maybe we'd have to go through from a new game to find them. Let's give this a go. Alright, so there's no point in killing a deer. Killing the child makes one different ending. I assume killing the man just makes me a murder for someone else. Did you fix the audio? I don't know. Did you? It still says I'm not listening. I don't know. You could. Lots of food. Huh. Use the bullet to make bait? That's interesting. Oh, you know what? Just for the hell of it. Just for the hell of it. I'm pretty sure this is a bad ending. Maybe even the same bad ending. What happens when we kill this dude? This is just some dude's house. I'll be mildly disappointed if this doesn't even result in a different ending. Maybe the well is shootable. Maybe it's just in the well. Anyway, we'll try the deer ending after this one. Shoot the deer. Oh no. Bit bit mean. So it seems like there's the main story. I'm sorry, that was really funny. <laughs> okay, well, that makes sense because I just killed some random dude. Ah. Oh, it was just like in the back of the car. Esteemed Cardinal Gifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for the young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let the fight against the enemy of such... Let up the fight against the enemy at such critical time. <gasps> Hi, boob! Welcome to the stream! Playing this horror game and I've been a bit scared. But it's been fun because we have a gun now. <laughs> Although we only have one bullet. <laughs> there is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let them see him in the darkness. No, eh, nor let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes terrible strain on his body, so that there may be no mistake what I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. Yes, welcome, Boobchan. My good friend. Hope you don't want me saying that. Happy to see you here, as always. Alright, let's see. What is left? So, Pork sort of hinted that there is, there might be a point to killing the deer. So, let's go kill the deer. Ooh, 
once I find it, because I genuinely can't remember where it was. What the? I didn't enter the road that quickly. Blimey. The... So random. Oh, there we go. Found it. Say ah. Uh... Eh? Oh, something ate it. Did that result in anything? I sort of feel like that was as much of a waste as it was to just kill the old man. But yes, uh, I also like this game a lot so far. Um, the boss fight against the um, the purple lady, or the demon within the purple lady, was actually really fun, even though it took me several tries to do it. I guess I'll just go to the car and see what happens. <laughs> actually, you know what? You get an ending, though. I do it? Okay. Uh, is it actually worth finding the girl after you've shot someone? Ah, I can't ask now. You can tell me in a minute if it does. I will my is it the same my ending? My my cock in my I shall not be of the <laughs> oh my god, that's really funny. <laughs> oh, this is even funnier. <laughs> Oh, the deers. <laughs> the hunter. <laughs> okay, that was worth seeing. That's quite funny. Okay, that's okay. So that's four or five. Okay, so we still haven't found the true ending yet. Hmm. Unidentified body discovered near wrecked car. The site of a deadly car accident was discovered along the road near Sterling this morning. Alongside, alongside the body of a person who has not been identified, at six a.m. this morning, a resident called the called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. The spokesman for the police commented that the body appears to have appears to have been dragged several yards away from the car, deeper into the woods. After having been ejected from the front windshield, it was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was probably the work of coyotes. Go to the car. All right. Police also noted that parts of the cleaned white tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From the white tailed deer hunter that typically gets 75 pounds of meat, However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. Alright. No, I trust you. That actually makes a bit of sense. It's a... Uh... So, the interesting things seem to happen in the car. Yo, thanks for gifting gift subs to two people. I'm... Who is Moon Pile? Doesn't matter. But yes, thanks for giving a gift sub to Sir River and uh, Moon Mule. Ooh, I didn't even know we're watching right now, if they are watching right now. No, I think there's just people who have watched in the past. That's kind of surprising. But yes, thank you very much. Uh, server is a uh, semi-regular who I sometimes see here. Oh, and thanks for giving give Boopchan one as well. That puts me 11 out of 10. D Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Let me try that again. I pressed space too early. You see, this is what I was like... Okay, afraid is not the right word, but it was like... What I was con trying... It was like uber conscious in every other run to not do, and then I did it that time. Yes, I didn't realize I had a sub goal. I wasn't really paying attention to it, but thank you for helping me meet that. <laughs> Both of you, actually, because I know Peachy's uh, made a lot of gift subs as well. 
Ah, oh. PG was doing something really cool on stream earlier. I, I really, really regret not buying a gift sub. Uh, sorry, not buying a sub myself earlier. I was uh, too afraid to do it, but I would like to go back and do that actually. Uh, next time you're streaming, I'm probably going to get a sub this time. I was kind of being a bit wishy-washy about it earlier because I was scared to make such a monetary commitment, but uh, yeah. There are three follows to go. Uh, air Doof. Thank you, Air Doof. <laughs> Okay, I think I, I will Therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. What a good story. I can't explain what happened at that house. Excuse I me. Only have faith that I, I don't need fart redeems in my streams. I'll just I just fart myself. It's it's not as funny, but it's something I can do. Game over. Ending 5 of 5. When faith endures. I guess the faith is just that the evil will come to you if you just wander around long enough. No, oh, no, there is like pixels of red next to red and blue next to some of the stuff. I'm not just going mad. Fart. <laughs> I don't, I'm, unfortunately, I can't fart on command. I don't have a program set up for it either. Find all endings in chapter one. Hooray! I didn't find all the notes though, that's... Oh well. I might do that off stream if I decide to play again. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Police, animal, experts, investigates Chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling Chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist had discovered the remains had told them they... Let me go back a sec. I'm trying to find a good place. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle, and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them that they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that remains were some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about what exactly we're dealing with here, said the Sterling Police spokesman. Oh, there we go. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If there is a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. You've had the urge to gift subs on mobile, but you shouldn't. I don't know why, but... New play mode unlocked. I'll have a quick look at what those are in the menu, at least, but I'm not going to do them now.
So what do we got here? Flashlight mode, walk by faith and not by sight. Okay. Darkness surrounds thee, warning, jank, turbo. <laughs> okay, we're not going to do that now. But, uh, okay, how long have we been going? An hour and a half? That's not that long. Why don't we play chapter two? Hmm. Uh, I really thought you make a proper BRB screen, but, uh... Nah, fuck it, we'll just go straight into it. It'll be alright. Hmm. Faith, chapter two. New game. Prologue. What's the... Safe file will be overwritten, confirmed. Ooh, so now I am no longer blue, I am in grey. Okay, resume notes. Okay, so once again we have the cross. Father Gus <clears throat> Excuse me. Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Oh, Miss, the Davies were mentioned in the previous case. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contracted by our office. A representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Gifford. There's a cross? Sorry, there's a Bible on the bed? Can I interact with that? Doesn't look like I can even get on the bed. What is this place? This is a... Silly There's a toilet. Bed. I don't know what this is meant to be. Desk? And it's a bit dingy as well, based on... Where is this? One day. Is this just my house? Is this my just funny apartment? Two weeks. Three months. Is this what happens when someone's possessed? They just... Well, of course they deteriorate. Okay, so I can't go this way. Where the hell am I? Let me check notes. Jen, you can't remember what's doing on here. Anyway, let's descend. Ah. I witness. How are we going to get by you? I want to go home. Of course you want to go home. Does your whole body will get better by you? Can I see mommy and daddy? I need to make you better first. Pendejo. Apparently this is... Is that Spanish? I think it is. Uh, I think this is going to make them explode. I won't get a bad ending this early, will I? Okay, now I can't see shit. Excuse me. None there. And their home meaning dumbass. Okay. Oh, they got out. They even took the picture of themselves with them. One day. Wait, I didn't leave that open. What did I just pick up? Nasus. I'm kind of glad I checked that because I don't think I had an incentive to do so. Hold on, I have to, <laughs> I have to Google this now because I am not aware of what a Nasus is. Also, uh, sorry, I didn't realize that you had sent me several messages.
All right, anyway. What's this other message I have in my... Oh, that one's not so... All right, let me actually Google what a Nasus is because I don't know. Nasus builds League of Legends. Oh, this is helpful. Never mind. We will not be looking that up now. I will just have to figure it out later. What? Oh, that's my cross falling down. Oh, that's a good sign. Come on. Oh, I can see a lot of people liking that. <laughs> Discover Father Gar Garcia's backstory. Oh, this is the back. Oh, this is Father Garcia. Okay, that makes sense why he wasn't blue. <laughs> Have you forgotten already? The notes people leave behind seem to exist on the edges of memory. Press the escape key or start button with a is a good way to remember what you don't realize you've forgotten. Okay. Oh boy, 2 a.m. <laughs> well, right now it's only, what is it? Midnight here? So it's actually um, past Halloween now. It's now a uh, Hallow Day. All Hallows Day. It's, excuse me. Uh, the demons have been exercised now, which is also true for the game. Well, one demon. Nasus. So, I don't know if I was supposed to find that Nasus. Maybe it's going to relate to something later. What am I doing here, then? Whatever, let's just follow the obvious route. Oh, no, wait. You're just a deer. Uh, what's with this tree? Okay, the, the soul in it has been somewhat... Huh. Notice. I wish you. <laughs> That's probably not how it's actually said. The current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, and any wildlife and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so that's weird. Someone died on the tree. But it's difficult to tell how- Oh, there's- is that a deer on top of it? I think it's a deer's head. A deer is arranged on it. Ah. I'm being welcomed in. How nice. Tell me now if I've, like, already missed, like, a whole bunch of notes by not exploring the forest more. Also, my cross is white now. Also, there are a bunch of borders I could have put on, but I decided not to use any of them. Oh, thanks for water redeem. Hmm. I think I took a miss. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long lost friend. I mean, that's kind of what the lore about the devil is. He assumes a form that is attracted to you or something like that. In order to sway you into doing whatever bullshit needs to be done. Oh, there's another note here. Hold on. Save. Dearest disciple, verily not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer, shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. You shall receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the save family too whenever you need or need of rest. Gary. Let's investigate this then. 
enter the spirit house. This is like the most American I've heard from you. Thank you. I like doing an American accent sometimes. You're just some person. You are a dude. And you are a dude with facial markings. And that's a mirror. <laughs> I have a key. What? The fuck did that do? Is that a key from part one? No, I think that's for someone else. I have no idea what I just did. Ah, the keys are open. The, the cemetery is open now. Wait. Sorry, I think I was seeing things actually. Okay. This is pointing right. Is it pointing right? Ah, oh, it's hard to tell. Okay, so there's mist covering these waves. It's almost like a Lost Woods kind of effect. At least that's the perception I've decision decided on. Yep, yeah, <laughs> it's one of those. Of course it is. All right. Well, we don't know what the route is here yet, so I guess we'll come back to that. No, we don't have a map. Or at least not yet. Where are you? Okay, that's a cool boss fight, though. Oh. Oh, this is hard, but I'm harder. No, they genuinely are quite hard, right? <laughs> not like that, not like that. Oh, I have to unlock the place again. Wait, do I? Do I? What is north? From this specific area. This is open. It's locked. That's locked. But... What? It's locked, but it's just a random gate. I assume we do actually unlock it. It is important to something, but... What? <laughs> okay, at least we're not, like, locked in the graveyard, actually. But, uh... I don't know. No, we just kind of end up back at the graveyard. That's not how space... I don't think that's how space works. <laughs> Whatever, let's just do the thing that was working for us before. <laughs> Look at that, he smiles at it. At least he appears to smile at it. Okay, so I think that's uh, three demons that have uh, come out. Or oh, three spirits? Three spirits we must uh, exorcise. That is, three spirits that we must exorcise. It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announced the passing of Cindy Mary Martin, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, 40, devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. Their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was a training advisor for the United States Navy and Cindy was a CPA and more recently a stay-at-home mother. They were married March 12th, 1969, in Voluntown. Though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. 
A public more closed casket memorial will be held at the Tillingast Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial services will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter Amy and twin boys Nate and Jason. Okay, so we've met Amy already. Uh, she kind of had a messed up face. And that's an interesting grave. Uh, the statue is stone, but the cross is wood. Ah. What about you two? It's moved. The cross doesn't work on it. I think it looks back at me as well. You it. What the? Damn it. Sine wave movement. Just humping my face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's kind of annoying to have to get through, so... When was I going to do that first? I was going to do that last. Oh, no, it brings me from here. All right. Okay, so no, it doesn't turn its head. It's already facing left. But then as we go this way, blood comes out. Almost like it is stalking us. He's what? <gasps> I'm an angel. Yeah, it's a little bit of a good You hired me. Fucking sine wave movements. Oi. Oi. I wasn't finished moving away from you. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. It just looks like a frog. <laughs> Does it just follow me now? Oh, yeah, it does. Oh. Oh, we did it. I won! Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. Sorry, that's just... I, I chose a specific voice for that. <laughs> Not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time, I'd le each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see the strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctor's. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as if I remember. Yesterday, I was walking and shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. Who is Gary? Because... Seriously, who the fuck is... Sorry. Excuse my language. Who is Gary? Because Gary's name has been coming up a lot. And, and also... Mr. and Mrs. Davies were mentioned in Chapter 1.
Anyway, let's go for the other ghost we definitely know is where. Right here. Oh, wait a minute. I would understand. I'm starting to understand this puzzle now. So, one. We go left. Uh, which one of these is two? Two, we go up. Oh, great. I don't know if you know what... This puzzle is weird. Okay, these are directions for the Lost Woods up ahead. But I just don't understand what order you take them in. Okay, okay. I'm going by the negative space. So this is a 1, this is a 2, this is a... Is this 3 or is this 4? <laughs> no, I don't know! There are five tombstones, tombstones and two crosses. What does this mean? This this isn't even a key for the direction. This is just... Okay, I do know these angels mean directions, however. Oh, let's just try something. Okay. First we go left. Second we go up. Third we... What is it? Oh, fuck, I'll come back to this one. <laughs> I'm coming back to that one. Bugger. Oh, what do you mean I have to go from here? Do I just need to save manually sometimes? Anyway, well, now I have to do this one again. <laughs> what a bother. Living in a sine wave ass. through but I don't... okay I already read this oh you can't say oh man <sighs> okay let's just try doing the puzzle then oh no okay there we go that's a, there's a save ah okay so I think there's four actually we're looking for Two crosses, two gravestones. Oh, I don't think it's the puzzle much. What do these directions mean? Oh, excuse me. Oh, we did it. Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I'd ever... Sorry, let me start over. Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. And then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I miss him so much. I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of my friend's houses. They took, me, they took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door. You have to go now because you're karaoke and I. I have fun at karaoke, PG. Thanks for being my moderator as always. Oh yeah, also that means the mod is gone. You can go wild. <laughs> Where was I? Only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in there. 
I can't remember what else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. What? I'm that's for you, thanks. Hey, the heads are gone. What do you mean, don't you dare? Oh, right. Oh, excuse me, I'm just gonna go save real quick. With my slow walking speed. Just you. But there's two spirits left. There's two eyes on the wall. Maybe the last one's mine. Okay, right. Is there a puzzle here? All the heads are gone now, that's interesting. So if this is one, that's two. So we go left. Wait, wait. Left once. Up twice. Right once, and then up again. Let's try that. Because what else have I got? Left. Up. Up. Right. Up. Yeah, that's not it. Alright. I don't know what the answer to this puzzle is, however... I would like at least a nudge in the correct direction, because I'm obviously getting it wrong. There's five tombstones, there's two crosses. Maybe that's irrelevant. The heads came off of that, I don't know what the significance of that is. Perhaps I'll explore outside the cemetery just for a minute, just to see if I can't turn up any information. What's this? It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> it's what's north. Not much. They don't intend for you to go that way, really. Is this just Lost Woods, Lost Woods again? No. Well, kind of. But once again, they don't really want you to go anywhere. What about down here, then? Oh, I am allowed out. These still look like the same woods, however. Return. Definitely need. Okay, where I need to go is definitely in the woods. Sorry, not in the woods. The uh, the four way, the lost graveyard. Let's call it that. Lost gates. I don't know. All right, I'm still missing something to do with this. Because these look like directions. Okay, one, two, three. I don't know what that, I don't know what that last one represents. Okay, so we go left first. 
then right. Then up? No, that's not getting me anywhere. I don't know how to read this. I don't know what I'm supposed to be counting on these. This puzzle is a little bit much for my 1am brain. Alright, uh, can I have a little bit of backseating on this specific puzzle, if anyone remembers? I don't really want to Google it. Pretend to be an angel. I'm actually not sure which way some of these were facing. But yeah, these uh, tombstones are a bit hard to. Well, it's not that hard to read, it's just hard to know what they mean. Because, like, I'm assuming this this one right here means one. But then I don't know which one would mean two. And also, I don't know what this one's supposed to be either. We should try the other route again. Maybe that uh, cross-bearing tombstone has something interesting to notice. It's still over there. You have a two on you as well. You have any clues? Two crosses left. Okay, what else can I talk about? So, earlier on I was watching a long play of uh, The Coffin and Andy and Lele, and that was really, really fun to watch. And also incredibly disturbing. <laughs> oh, there's so many... Awful, awful themes in that's great. You just want to keep watching it. Also, the art's just really cute as well, which is a plus. Alright. Oh, I genuinely want some help here. I'm surprised no one is trying to help me. Oh, please don't make me Google the answer. Because they won't give me a hint, they will just straight up give me the answer. we got quit excellent not yet maybe after this chapter because i'm gonna i'm already hitting the two hour mark right now how many notes have i got so far two three four i don't have no five yet six seven eight Oh, there's a lot to find. Maybe there's a note I'm missing that I'm supposed to find earlier. Let's go back outside. Not being able to run kind of sucks as well. But yeah. <laughs> Should have put turbo mode on. Yeah, maybe there's something in the woods I missed. Let's have a look. Wandering in the woods at night, it's really, really dank. Hmm. 
That's murder music. Okay, I'm not seeing anything out here. My perception rules are not doing too well, and my critical thinking is lacking right now. The statues. I know it's the statues, I just can't read them. I, two, three, four, yep. Yeah. But I don't know which one's which. And also then, the statues themselves are starting to become inobvious. Yeah, because, like, this one I'm pretty sure is one, but then I don't know which one's two. Because, like, is it that one over there which has his arms up? Up both sides? And even then, what does this even... What does this even mean? Does this mean left again because of the two crosses there? And is it, which one of these is three and which one is four? Because both of them could either... Both of them could be either way. This could be three or four, and that one could be three or four. And what does this mean? Does this mean go up twice? Because that's what I originally thought. Go left, then up twice. Yeah, yeah, so left is... Okay, so one is left, yeah, I thought, that's, I thought that was the case. Two up, yeah. Is, is three up as well? Oh no, three is right, okay. And what's five? Because it's the fifth one. Is it up again? You'll know when you do it right. Oh, bloody hell. So one. Two. Three, four. How does it just do that? No, oh, okay. One, two, three, four. You might be incorrect. <laughs> See, this is where I'm stuck because either of these could potentially be number four. Alright, I'm going to go for the fact that this one has two arms up, which means maybe... I don't know, which one of these could actually be five? Oh, it's right up. Right up, left up. What? Right. I'll just try anyway at this point. Up. Left. Up. Fucking nothing happened. Is there five moves or is there four? Up. Uh, it's not even giving me like any indication. Leave and try again. Uh, okay, alright, let's try again. I didn't know it worked on that system. I thought we'd just like reset every time you did it wrong. Right. Up. I might as well Google at this point. Left. Up. Well. There we go. 
I'll see you again. Whoop. I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needless. Oh, no more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day my body withers away, but by night my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge. Guided by beings of pure darkness, I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in fives. First at the top left point, and then down. I will lure them into the woods, then I will show them my power. Wait, wait, wait. there's something interesting here. You've learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star along the five rocks, arranged in five, first at the top left point, and then down. Ah. That's something to, that's something to remember. I think I want to remember that. Yes, there are instructions. Hey, wait a minute. That's different from earlier. There's one left. Wait a minute. That's not my reflection, is it? Thank you. Oh, is it my reflection? Wait, I got. I have a key now. I can go there. Oh, I'm dripping blood. I can draw with this now. That's useful. Solve the riddle of the Gallop Cemetery. Oh. Hang on, I haven't gone back to the rocks. Wait, I need to go back. New background unlocked. Eh. You know what? Just for the hell of it, let's actually put a background on. Uh, options. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? So that's the... This, that's the default we start off with. Okay, I think that's the... Whatever the, uh... The kids start, turned into at the beginning of, uh, Chapter 2. That's the thing from Chapter 1. I don't know what that is. That's the anime one. So that's, uh... Who we're playing as on the left, and I believe Father Garcia on the right. This is a different style. Oh, that's just no. Uh, I'm a weep, so how about we go with the anime one? Nope. Okay, okay. Let's try again. Let's... Alright, give me the key. But also the blood, which is the other key. Now, if I remember correctly, the five stones are at the beginning, so let's head back there. I'm drawing with my eye. Which, to be fair, is kind of how a drawing works anyway. Okay, okay, so... Did it not work? What have I just done? Oh, I've stopped bleeding now. Okay. It's hunting me now. I started.
The beginnings of an ending, sir, but you can do the rest. Alright. Notes. New patient, initial consultation. Subject, John Thomas Ford. Present. Dr. James Spinnell, PhD, and two orderlies. Subject, non-responsive for the first half hour, followed by fragmented exorcism narrative. Subject, unable to maintain consistency in, star in story. For example, stating that Amy was in the basement and saying that she, and then saying she was in the attic. I noticed that. It wasn't going crazy. That I thought that was weird. Subject insists incident was the result of demonic possession. Cannot declare subject of sound mind. Rule requires several more sessions to fully understand subject's mental state. Will advise Martin family attorneys. So that's talking about exactly what I was confused about in chapter one. Nevertheless, we return to the hidden graveyard. Perhaps I won't save in case it would be more useful to just come back to the same place as before. Well, I'm not sure we saved already. Alright, what's going on here? I think do this for a second. No. Well, uh, let's look at what we're actually looking at here, because I'm... I'm worried I'm going to end up in a Lost Wood situation again. Then again, that angel can't isn't making a clear direction anyway. Do any of you guys have notes in you? Well, at least I've done a little more than some of it. What? Okay. I see we have an ent on our hands. Actually, probably something else. I wish I knew what yokai that would be. Tree one. But now they set up the premise that you have to check the trees. It's not the last one, is it? No. Someone's running off in the distance. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I have not seen her. Children fear her. Confess thy sins. Day one of our paranormal investigation into the Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us the week. Ah, beer. Paramount in being able to make snap decisions that, that are good. On our way, <clears throat> on our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before: evil spirits dragging children into the cornfields and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was the spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk into the church from room to room and maybe you will see her. She will move when you she will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome. We're going to try that game tonight as soon as we get settled in. Okay, okay, let me read it again. Walk the church from room to room and maybe you will see her. She'll move when you do, but never try to trick her. Knew it. Night three. Shouldn't Tabaka come here? Tape's missing. Last stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. What? Did you ever play Inscription? No. This is one of the... I don't play horror games that much. 
Oh, the confessional. Inscription is not a horror game, is really good. Man. Okay. I've not seen anything to make me interested. I am sorry for me and my best sins. What? What? <laughs> Bring the child? That can't be right. Go find the child. But... And bring it back. Yeah, but I left the child somewhere else. Anyway. <coughs> we still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confessional booth leading to this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can't get these boards off. Some of these doors. But that's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it on tape very well. But to us, it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank God we brought the nice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. Suspicious indeed. Yeah, uh, these things are boarded up for a reason, I'm pretty sure. Why is it open up like that? It's an unusual confessional. Bring the child. <laughs> Hang on. Where would the child be? Because I'd have to go back to the location of chapter one. And I don't even, I think I'm really far away for that. Then again, I did see a purple person leaving the other way earlier. Let's have a look. Can you help me? Uh, let's look around outside then. I had to come back. I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I would find. The dogs? The children? The thing that took them? It had been five years. I couldn't even find the little graves anymore. I just walked in the field until I found that some stupid grinning scarecrow. As I listened to the night wind blowing through the crops, it was like the scarecrow was mocking me. I turned around to go back, and that's when I heard it. Behind me. Well, it was more like I felt it. I didn't dare turn around. We just stood there, me, the scarecrow, and the doomed child. Finally, it must have... It mustered up a tiny bit of courage and turned to look. It, it immediately fled in the opposite direction, crashing through the ro rows of corn. I ran too. What little I saw of it drained the blood from my face and made my skin crawl. I say it because whatever it, whatever I was looking at didn't have a face, just a bloody gaping hole. She's still out here? She's not possessed anymore, isn't she? Amy? Amy? I think the scarecrow is pointing this way. So the scarecrow has a close up.
Well, the cross doesn't do anything, so... Oh, I'm going to have to judge Okay, I'm going to have to judge then. Play the game in the church. Right, right, okay. So we go from room to room in the church, and... Let me reread. Also, I saw that. Uh, where's the one? Is it day one of Paranormal Search? Walk the church from room to room and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Oh, screw it. Okay, so... Watch the candles. This cross has an eye on it. What? Hoshi, hi! Welcome to this scary ass stream. I am shivering. I'm watching the candle. This area makes the room shiver. Yes, welcome, Hoshi. I'm in an investigation, so that's one. That's two. She's in the room with you. Three. Oh. Oh. If I go this way, she's in the room with me here as well. Am I enjoying the cool Atari game? Yes, I'm terrified, but I am enjoying it a lot. Oh, thanks for the water redeem. <clears throat> So there we just like change rooms together. She's staying in that room now. Now we're in the same room together. She's here. I can't make the crosses fall again, though.
What? gone. I have exercised her, it appears. But what does that accomplish? Hold on, let me inspect that cross again. <clears throat> it's the same. Now I can check outside. Alright, cool. We're leaving this place. House, we can. I'm gonna check outside anyway, but that's interesting to know that's there. Will we find the child? Or will we just get lost again? If we go north, there's gonna be a scarecrow. What? Let's go follow that child. Where'd the child go? Hold on, let me try that again. I can't look at him. I can't look at her. Okay, that happened. Now what? Are there more boards here than there were earlier? Yeah, that was a very monkey ass moment. Go in, go in where? Because the drapes. Oh. I didn't realize I could go in there now. Ah. I don't have to go from there.
Oh, it's fun to tell again. All right. So the candles being out means that the the lady is gone. However, I still have to find the child now. Luckily, I don't have to travel far. I need to only travel north for a moment. Do not face her. I'm scared too. Too close, too close. Okay, now. Close. Oh. Not even was that. He wasn't the father. Subjects are suffering from delusion. In John's mind, he plays the role of hero sent by God to protect the innocent. In order to escape the consequences of his actions, he has created his own reality. In order for everything to make sense, he needs to believe in the evil spirits and the paranormal occurrences. I recommend an in vivo approach until we can get John to accept the truth. And for the love of God, please have Miss Martin transferred to the, another facility. Somehow, John knows that she is in here with him. What? Miss Martin? That would mean Amy Martin, presumably. Because Mrs. Martin was married, and Miss is not. So, alright, so that's that. So then I guess we go downstairs into the basement. Hold on. Oh, shit. Not that one. Day one, night three, shouldn't have come here, tape's missing, last I find basement door. Henry hasn't come back here, can't leave yet anyway. That was night one, this is night three. Okay, so we were supposed to find these in the opposite order. I wonder what notes I've missed. I might have missed some. Darkness surrounds thee. Who's watching me now? Reach the basement of Snake Meadow. This is my final memoir, scri hastily scribbled on the page of the good book. I dare descend to the staircase, knowing full well that she waits, waits for me ahead. Checking my older watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now, the hands don't move past two, two o'clock. God's work be done. I have been here. I've been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from, from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man going, going mad in this dark prison. Ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. Wait. Darkness does surround. Oh, fuck. What is this? I do not have the mental capacity to remember this many symbols. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve symbols. Wait. Are these just clock hands? Is this just a clock? Anyways, what's a bones here? Bones. 
No. <laughs> take a screenshot. I do not have the means to take a screenshot. All right. That's 12. So one is the circle. Two is the... Jeez, fuck. I'm just going to write it down. Hold on. I'm going to find a piece of paper that's, like, not important. No, yeah, that's... What's important no longer is... I don't really want to write it on my lips. Um, I feel bad enough just writing demonic symbols than anything right now. Just write on the back of this envelope. Pen. Let me check DMs. Ooh. One sec. Ah, cheers. And we'll just open that in another window. Minimize that. Put that in the corner. Thank you, book. Don't know he's enemy twice. Excuse me, I'm just being a bit distracted. <laughs> All right, back to the game. Okay, so... Where do we start? I assume we start clockwise? Or maybe it's anti-clockwise because it's... Oh, I don't fucking know, just do something. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> That was one, but neither of those was two. Okay, neither of these are a clue for that specific puzzle. If you get it wrong, well, you die. Run back to the front. Okay, okay, so... Wait a minute. Oh, two's on the other side. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Genuinely don't know what you're supposed to do if you can't see the symbols. Okay, what's going on now? Alright, what's going on here? So 12 is just above me, 1 is all the way on the other side, 2 is just below me. And um, wait a minute. Which one of these is 11? Because 10 is just at the far end next to the hand. Which one of these is 11? None of these are 11. That's weird. <laughs> Mortis. I am indeed Mortis. Okay, what's going on here? These symbols are all smaller than they're supposed to be. It's not even all the symbols. Some of the symbols are smaller than they're supposed to be. 
That's the tricky part. What's with the hand on the right side? Let's find out. Uh, I would like a hint because something doesn't seem right. Uh, some of the numbers are missing. <laughs> hmm. Not to mention, I don't even know where you're actually supposed to start. I'm looking at the key. Because there's 12 spots like it's a clock, but I'm wondering if I'm just like adding that myself and it's actually irrelevant. Basic hint, the note does seem to... Well, I know it does. I'm looking at it right now. What's in the middle, actually? Why is 2 the only thing it doesn't react to? Or 3. Or 4. What's it? 5. 6. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. The logic doesn't make sense to me. Why, why, why does it make you skip? What? I can't read this. Mother of Demons. Okay, I can't read this. The note had this line about the clock begins at two. No, of course. Fuck's sake. Okay, we saved. And we've just come out of that. It's the same model, but it's not the same reason. So, and now I'm starting to question the reality I'm living in. Tears are running across. Now. Three murders in the latest wave of ritualistic killings, Sterling, Con. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night, in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel Nogales, and Troy Inglis are the names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual. Pandemonium... Regnant. Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. Do you want all the endings? Because this is crucial. Uh... <gasps> Momoka! Hello! Also, oh, I forgot I actually made that the sound effect. Welcome to my mod... Welcome to the faith stream. Thank you for sending everybody this way. Holy cow. Why do you spank me right <laughs> Thank you, Bush Baby. But yes, welcome everybody. Um, I don't know how much more I'm longing. I don't know how much I'm planning to do in the stream tonight, but we're still going for a bit longer because I'm going to at least try to finish this chapter. Uh, as far as the endings go, as far as the endings go, because, uh, oh. yes, hello, Momoka. I hope you had a good time with Goody Two Shoes. I am 100% going to watch that VOD in the morning. When it's time for me to wake up again yes welcome everybody yes please if you don't already follow Ushime Momoka if you're watching me and you don't follow her how <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, please go follow Momoka she is uh, she is magical cowgirl and she is the best and tomorrow she's doing karaoke which you should all definitely go watch uh, thank you very much and yeah I will definitely be checking out in the morning Anyway, where was I with the story? Yes, everyone go watch, go watch uh, Ushime Momoka's karaoke tomorrow, around about... Whatever it is. I'm too sweet? That can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's that? Thanks for the follow, Bush Baby. <laughs> Bright... 
Emperor, you did not sign up to get jump scared by ASMR. You didn't sign up for shit. <laughs> I am enjoying this game. I am really, really enjoying this game despite being scared by it, which I think is a good sign. Anyway, where was I? <clears throat> okay, two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although authorities would not specify who. Uh, you're signing off because EP? That is absolutely fine because I'm also getting EP as things go on. <laughs> yes, karaoke hype, absolutely. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported a tomb had been desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading into leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether on whether or not these two incidents could be related. The arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern, as well as the writing of certain symbols in blood, matches the style of several murders that have occurred in Sterling area since 1986. Oh, have a good night, Master Hand. That's that's fine. Just thank you. I just really really appreciate the raid, Momoka. It's just nice to see you pop by my stream, even for a little bit. So thanks very much, and have a good rest, Momoka. I will see you in tomorrow's karaoke. <laughs> uh, I don't plan on streaming tomorrow myself, but uh, if I do, I'll probably be Castlevania, or finishing this off. Because I'm probably not going to finish this tonight. Uh, anyway, uh, to answer Paul's question from a few minutes ago, uh, as far as endings go... Uh, let's just see how the current one goes, and if I'm dissatisfied with it, we'll try for other endings. <clears throat> the arrangement of bodies in a ritualistic pattern, as well as writing of ceremonial certain symbols in blood, matches the style of several murders that have occurred in Sterling area since 1986. <clears throat> the killings may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl, by John Ward. Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her. <laughs> okay, meh. <laughs> hmm. What do I supposed to mean? Also, I like how you have like three mouths or something. What is your face? That's an unusual ovo thing. Whatever. Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious captivity. Sorry, suspicious activity to the police. Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Atwood, Atwood Nogales, and Ingles because, after all, they were degenerate devil-worshipping folks who were hooked on crack, cocaine, and hated their parents. Teeth. Ah. Why, they ev why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you would like to... That's what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them, getting them high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and killed them, one by one. You ignored their cries for help, their pleas for mercy. You put holes in their ruined drug addict's bodies, and then you chopped off their heads, because everybody knows that removing their head is the only way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John cannot kill what cannot be killed. You shall not raise up what thou canst not put down again. Thou couldst not kill Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now she is at thy door, her hand is at thy throat. Yet you see her not. I will have thy soul for for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium regnat satan... I can't, I can't swap my cup. It's an upside down cross made of sexes! Or oh, Magatama. I'm here, John. Oh, hey, there's Amy. <laughs> oh, I'm a little thing. Remember?
I'm normal. What? Candy tunnel. Death awaits. Enter the candy tunnel. I can't read these hieroglyphs on the back. Oh, that's an anarchist, eh? Stuff I cross, I'm normal? Question mark? Equi. Two more dead discovered outside Candy Tunnel near Sterling. Two more bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch under Snake Meadow. And the Snake Meadow Hill Road outside Sterling. The notorious Candy Tunnel known in the area to be the home of addicts, gangs, runaways, and the indi indigent has been the site of a several grisly discoveries over the past three months since May. Five bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch leading the, to the tunnels. Authorities are being pressured by cornered concerned citizens to search the tunnels amid fears of possible connection to Joe Bowman, a.k.a. the Candy Store Killer, who has claimed eight victims in the Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past year. That was just a dude skeleton shit. Satine lives. Ale Star. Multiple officers wounded, one dead in sewer tunnel shootout. Law, enforce law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one deputy who was fatally wounded after an exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after police raided the tunnels where suspect suspected murderer Joe Bowman, aka the Candy Store Killer, was alleged to be hiding. At this time, it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has confirmed that one officer has been killed. Officials are not saying if Bowman was wounded in the exchange, and efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. This is important for the spicy ending slash whelp. Um, what? Oh, great. It's one of... The sewers are kind of just like this. <laughs> says Neko. The watery place. Read. When sap don't when you it move. Hold on, hold on. What does it say? Don't okay. when When you see it, don't move. Huh, triangle. Not moving. Not moving. Okay, I think I did what I was supposed to do then. But, uh... 
Confused. Saved. All right. Hey, it says pillow over there. It's a thing. That's what it says. Why does it say lick? It must have gone through the wall. Well, it came out of the wall, so it sounds to reason. Ah, we go this way now. This is a perfect place to get jump scares. I do appreciate that this is also not a jump scares game so far. This is as far as I'll go to hide my stash. Nobody goes past the first pipe. Nobody except those strange people with their bodies painted red and their eyes like animals. Twice a month they come to pa come and pass right through into the deeper tunnels. Sometimes I can hear them yelling or chanting. Sometimes I hear them something like an old woman laughing. Sometimes I hear things that aren't even human. Whatever they are, they sound really big. Uh... Where am I? Now's a good time to have something follow me out. I assume I just leave now. Or well, is there somewhere else to go in those sewers? Hold on. Ah. That's new. When I was a boy, my nana used to tell me all the legends about the dragons, trolls, and demons that lived up in the mountains of Norway. In those old tales, the people were never strong enough to kill the monster, so instead they would sacrifice one of their own to appease it. Keep it satisfied. It was like a deal with the devil. One sacrifice per year so that the beast would not come down to the mountain and slaughter the entire village in one night. There was no candy store killer. What we're dealing with is not even human. When I got separated from the other officers, I saw the damn thing dragging what was left of Jenkins down into the lair. That's when I understood. The bums and the tweakers, the ones with grid. And the child prostitute runaways. They'll eventually come back to the tunnels. They always do. You can have them. For all I care, nobody wants to have them around. Have them around except maybe that thing. And I tell you what, I hope to God it never gets tired of them. Go in the hole. I don't know if you mean this hole or if you meant the hole I just went in. Because I can't go through the wall into that specific hole. Or can I? Um, I don't think I can go in there. You already did the thing. Okay, cool. I'm just going to leave then. I gotta look out for when there's another thing. But did you try to go the other way behind the wall? What? I thought there was the other way. I've been both left and right behind the wall. Ah, whatever. I'm leaving. 
leaving. I'm sorry, I still really find Ale Star really funny. It's like All Star, but it just says Ale Star. Hang on. I can't leave. Then where do I go? Excuse me. <clears throat> well, this is the only thing I haven't been able to interact with yet. Hold on. Didn't try any of this stuff. Those arrows pointing up look important. The green ones. Hmm? Which arrows? Not these ones. Those are pointing down, so I don't think you meant those ones. This one just says 666, and that's just there. Oh. Oh, I see now. Just gotta go back there again. It's nice having a little bit of a hint, hint bot in my chat for a game like this specific one. Ah. Now what? Do ho ho indeed. Yeah, it's uh, getting late, so I'm definitely going to be finishing off after this ending, probably. All these candles are on. You can't get the other ending. Oh, never mind. It's going to take too long to get back there, I'm pretty sure, anyway. Four. I want to know what else we're dealing with here. What's down from this route? read I'm sorry god please save me these are the same symbols we saw earlier something dragged it that way what's this I don't know if I want to do that yet I don't know which one to do first it's tricky. What is that? Oh, it's a torch. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> he was too close. More this. Oh, man. No, half of me isn't sure if I'm cold because of the game of horror or if I'm cold because it might be just fucking gold. Here I go. Here you've been 
Uh, did I win? Who are these people? Oh, that's some really good fucking horror, man. He is here. Guys, I can't read this. Enter hidden sanctum. It's locked. What do you mean it's locked? That was annoying. The fact they can warn up themselves and make this scarier yet. They hate the light. Let's try that again. They hate the light. Popped in C, Momo raided you. Yeah, Momo raided us. That looks like a trap. Not exactly a trap, but it's impassable. Sit. <laughs> Thanks for giving Momoko a sub. Uh, I don't think she's here right now. Sit, that's it. Thank you. Okay. So the ending you needed as as the demon. Oh, right. I think it was more just like, I didn't even know how to... Either way, she deserves it. Yes, she does. I guess I'm just going to get aim and... What? Father Garcia. You had to go onto the road by going on the sides and then kill the cook on the road. Oh, that was what I was supposed to do. Okay, maybe I'll... 
either do that in another stream or just do that off stream. I'm not entirely sure. Protect him. Okay. Oh, what? Why didn't that work? What? What? Let's try that again. Wait, why are you there now? Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't like this one. But yeah, Garcia was slightly easier to defend when he's in the middle here. Stupid. Did I already lose? Or did I just get a different ending? Oh, not this fucking shit again. I'm sincere.
<laughs> the sine wave! It's always the sine wave! It's always the sine wave that gets you the last minute. Oh, okay. Is this? This is just the, uh, was that a scared burp? I don't think so. I think I was just scared. At the end of my water. Oh, come on. <laughs> Everything works until it just suddenly doesn't. Stupid. Now I'm just getting mad. It's just hard, okay. Mortis. The sine waves always get me. Except the time it wasn't, that was just someone else. My greatest enemies are frogs and sine waves, it seems. Switching to 
arrow keys because I just don't want to use bug pens. John, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I will always love you back, Molly. <sighs> I think this was an ending. Maybe once. Well, I'm coming to an ending at some point. <clears throat> the cross is all over this door. I'm not going in there. Yeah, probably a good idea. Letter. John, it is not too late. Your soul can still be saved. All is not lost. Please wait for my next letter. For now, I have many questions that need answering. In the meantime, be careful. They are watching you. Father I survived a nightmare. What? But did I really do the right thing? I don't know what is real anymore. I don't know what's real anymore. My face is weak. And I feel a dark shadow over me. If I can save the boys, maybe I will find what I'm looking for. Alright! Is this what this is about? The the twins that... The Davies twins. Survive the nightmare. Ending two, Road to Redemption. So it's not the, it's not necessarily a bad ending, but it's not the canon ending, as far as I can tell. It's hard to say, but uh, I think finding the other endings in chapter two will be another stream because I am too fucking tired right now. So let's see, who shall we raid? But thank you, thank you. And what do we get for that? New background unlocks, new effect unlocks, new play mode unlocks, new effects. Uh, I'm curious. I will... So I'm not actually going to start, but uh, let's... So I found... Mo oh, no, no, that's my normal one. Start at prologue. Okay, ignore that. But, uh, what's this? Extras, survival mode, replay intro, and another stuff. Yes, thank you for coming to the stream as we now exit Faith, the Unholy Trinity. <laughs>